comes from this location. Encrypted message follows. And please, keep this quiet. Good games have the ability to startle us with the spectacle they set before us, and sometimes refer to these as moments. For example, there are several Battlefield 4 moments that will always stick with me, chief amongst which is probably playing Conquest on the Rogue Transmission map, near the upper edge of the valley underneath the big dish, with dozens of enemy soldiers swarming up the hill in front of me as I kept popping out of cover to take them down before eventually being overwhelmed by their sheer numbers. Another moment would be the first time I saw the city of Columbia in Bioshock Infinite, or in Black Ops 1 where you're fighting waves and waves of NVA defending the US base at Khe San in the Vietnam War. The point is that these moments are few and far between. I'll enjoy playing games like Black Ops 3 and Overwatch, and sure, in the multiplayer there are times that are very exciting, but I can't say they stick with me long term, and I don't play those games to be surprised by those moments. In Destiny, however, I've had three of these moments already, and I've only been playing this, the base level version of the game, for a week. My first Destiny moment was in my first strike, where, to be honest, I didn't know what to expect, but when the final boss appeared, I was blown away, literally and metaphorically. The first time I went to the moon was amazing, walking around all that gorgeous landscape, and finally, another moment on a strike I've just completed fighting a huge ogre and hordes of very, very dangerous minions. I have had a difficult relationship with Destiny. I first played it a couple of years ago on the Xbox 360, and I wasn't very impressed. I couldn't figure out what was going on or what I should be doing, so after a couple of hours I put the disc back on the shelf and thought no more of it. I was in our local Tesco about a month ago, however, and saw they had the original Destiny on sale, brand new, for £10. So, for that price, I thought I had to give it a go. This time, I read quite a lot online about how to get started, and watched a few videos so I knew what I should be doing, because De Destiny is notorious at leaving you to your own devices and letting you feel lost and confused. This means that a week in, I think Destiny may be my favourite first person shooter campaign ever. I consider this, at the moment, better than Doom, which looked gorgeous, but I felt like I was playing it to finish it, not because I wanted to be in that universe exploring and finding new storylines and power-ups. Don't be fooled by the campaign tag either. The most fun I've had has been playing the campaign story levels, or the strike levels, with a pal with both of us taking on hordes of aliens together as a strike team, and I think this could be the best way to enjoy Destiny. Multiplayer shooters against other humans are great. Overwatch is my favourite at the moment, but when you're playing other people, you need to be on top of your game or you'll get your ass kicked. Whereas spending a couple of hours in Destiny playing as a team with a friend taking on aliens that are clever, but not that clever, is less intense, but still very, very satisfying. Don't get me wrong, Destiny has its problems, chief of which is the way you seem to be revisiting the same areas again and again. But just as you're tired of that, a new area opens and you're off into strange new worlds. I'm also not too fond of all the toing and froing to the tower and back, and the lack of a decent tutorial doesn't help. But overall, this is definitely the best shooter campaign I have played for a long, long time. And when I saw the Taken King expansion for sale for, I think it was about £15 in the PlayStation Online store, I snapped that up too. Probably the biggest plaudit I can give Destiny is since that I installed it about a week ago, I haven't wanted to play any other game at all. So for me, Destiny, even the vanilla base game, which you can get incredibly at low prices in a second hand game store, is definitely worth buying cheap, even on just the experiences I've had in the first week. Okay, so that's enough from me. Please put any questions or comments down below. Hit like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you'd like to see more of the same. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon.
secured it all. Let's move. <laughs> <laughs>